Here is Crusader Kings 3 Tours and Tournaments. In Life as a Medieval Knight, we're going to play as Earl Edgar, son of Edward the Exile. He descends from a line of kings who were expunged from England by Canute the Great many years ago. In 1057, his father arrived in England and died soon after. Edgar is the sole remaining heir of his family. Through tournaments around Europe, Edgar plans on becoming a famous knight, one worthy of rebuilding his family's line. Paradox was kind enough to sponsor me for this video. They also have a Chapter 2 bundle that only costs $5 more than Tours and Tournaments, and you get three additional DLC. Check out the DLC with my link right down below in the didgeridoo. Now for our current situation. Harold IV, King of Norway, has invaded England. Simultaneously, Duke William of Normandy has begun his assault too. Earl Edgar harbors no loyalty to the current English king, nor to Duke Edwin of Mercia, his lord. Now, we've got Forder, which has a new benefit that it confers, travel speed. That's going to help us travel to a new destination even faster. And there are traits that also have new trait paths. Like over here, whenever we go hunting, we're able to go down the Venator path or the Falconer path. Of course, there are many ways to get more experience, but hunting would be the primary way. Now, we've got, of course, our education trait and our other traits over here. I'll go over more details as we go along. Of course, for our lifestyle, we're going to begin using a chivalry focus. We want, of course, our own prowess to go up, especially if we want to join in a tournament. We also need to have some manner of marriage for our poor mother, who's a widow. We could use someone through a matrilineal marriage who's a great warrior. Struin McCallum, come on over. I know all about you, Easter Egg. Hey, get over here. He's got a lot of power, and we do need better knights. We also have our sister, as I did mention before, she's got Stafford up north, and she also makes a bit of money. We need to one day pick that up. We have a rather paltry military force right now. 179 levies, 5 knights, 100 light footmen, 200 bowmen, and 10 mangonels. That's okay though, we'll increase it over time. And I have a plan to get a very powerful ally. Over here in Warwick, we've got a level 2 bailey. Not only do we have our typical benefits, but it also reduces danger by 2. That's going to be important whenever we're traveling through our lands. Also, if we station heavy horsemen here, they'll get more damage and toughness, but we don't have any right now. In fact, you're not able to spam buildings anymore to buff all of your minute arms. You've got to build buildings and then station your group there. So right now, we're going to station our light footmen right over in our capital, providing two more damage and a bit more toughness too. Here's Duke William of Normandy. He leads over 7,000 men, and he's very likely going to become the next king of England. So why don't we ally him? He's got a daughter who's currently nine. We could have a marriage. Right now he's saying no. She would be marrying down. However, we're going to use a grand wedding promise to say, hey, look, we're going to hold a grand affair later on. It'll cost a lot of money, maybe a bit less, maybe a bit more. The average cost, 375. Let's be careful but we'll have to make the money quickly. There it is, plus 14. Here's Duke Edwin, our leader, 22 years old, 1,300 soldiers. Our sister counts as Margaret, over 400 soldiers, which is not a lot. Earl Wolfston, he's got 921, but more importantly, he's got 200 house carls. Those are deadly, deadly soldiers. Then we've got Earl Edric, who's only 28. He's a very good fighter. And a pretty decent commander, too. Finally, we've got Helga, who's very strong. I would like to get her over here. I doubt it'll be possible anytime soon, but that would be very nice. Now, let's have a look at our council. We've got a pretty good bishop at 17 learning. We're going to get a claim on our sister's lands. I know it's quite cruel, but we've got to do it. He's by far the weakest link here. For everything else, we're going to train our commanders with our marshal. For our spy master, our mother, she needs to come over here and find out secrets about our duke. It'll take half a year, but let's do it. Our steward, he's going to focus on collecting money for us. That's why we've got so much money right now. We've got our first tournament to attend. Greetings, Earl Edgar Warwickshire. I'm organizing a grand tournament in Glasgow. We will start with a melee, a chance to show your skill to all, I warrant. All right. We've got to leave within 41 days. That won't be too bad. And he's called the Big Headed. My nickname is a lot better. In the very beginning, they're always going to show you the shortest pathway to reach your destination. 
I could change it up, sure. I could change it after we leave our capital. I could change it after we leave Glasgow, but we're not going to do that right now. I'm okay with taking a very short pathway. We would need to cross through woods and hills, all increasing our overall danger. But we're able to hire people, like a mountaineer for one, reducing danger in hills, mountains, and desert mountains. Then, for a further two gold, we're able to hire a forest guide. Perfect. We've got a travel speed of 126. We need to hire a caravan master. That's going to be Tegan Harris. She's average. She'll increase our speed by 13. Not only that, she'll like us more. Her salary is 5 gold whenever we travel. She'll increase our army movement speed by 3%. Our supply limit by 6%. And we'll gain a bit more court grandeur when that applies. So now we've got a total of 18 safety. Safety is compared to, of course, danger. And it counteracts those effects. Thankfully, we have no danger right now. Seven are in our entourage, like Agatha, our mother. We've got our mini knights too. And of course, our caravan master. We're now ready to go. It'll only cost us seven gold total. Grand tournament, a fresh start. My fellow attendee, King Malcolm, is hosting a grand tournament competition in the vicinity of Glasgow. And time has come for us to depart. We shall represent the House of Wessex and make the Anglo-Saxon people proud. While we are there, we should also seize the opportunity to experience the Gaelic culture. Next destination, 55 days. I can't wait. So there we are. We're able to also view our travel whenever. If we need to customize our route, we're able to do that too. There's our alliance. And what's over here? Travel. Closed doors. Uh, now I remember the tells of Wolverhampton's church. How high it would raise an imposing bastion of God. Stones that could build an entire paradise. Silence and prayer. A bereft landscape in the browns of the village lays before us. The muddy streets, the age-worn pavement, but the church is there as promised. Ugh, my lord. A priest drops a bundle of wood near one of the walls. My apologies, but the church is closed in preparation for King Malcolm's grand tournament. Well, look at that. I could convince him to open up the church. I could break down the door. I won't do that. We're diligent. Or we could say, that's rather unfortunate. Travel speed will go up. But I came here to see God. It worked out. We gained 50 piety. But here's danger. Sticks in the wheel. Ditch. I hear my knight shout out in panic. Soon thereafter, I hear a loud cracking sound. Like that of wood breaking. Or of my patience finally snapping. I step out on the grass to see the splintered remains of a wagon wheel. My wagon wheel. I'm sorry, my liege. It was my turn as lookout and I fell asleep at the reins. Ugh. All right. Our journey has been delayed by five days. That's why you've got to be careful. Thankfully, we should be okay. We're going to be waiting here for just five days. Then we get to move on. We'll move on at, what, four speed? We're going to watch the whole journey so that you're able to see what it's like. We had so many front-loaded events. Oh, there's an enemy army that could cause a lot of new danger. And here's our tournament arrival. Though not all the revelers have yet arrived, Throngs of people wandered through the colorful surroundings, all looking forward to the forthcoming displays of skill and prowess. There is no time to lose. I must begin preparing. I must be a victor at absolutely any cost. I can't wait for it to start. Let's begin by talking about our intent. We've got many options about what to really base our goal around while we're here. Recreation will of course reduce stress. Triumph will be about winning contests. We could try to find a few new knights to recruit. If we want to have someone killed, that's an option too. And if we want to seduce someone, here's a good time to meet them and make that happen. Meet them, I said it. Or if we want to befriend a target, there we are. No, we're not here to do any of that. We're here to win a tournament. Here's our attitude. We've got four. Bow attitude, poor. All dictated by my current prowess skill. Our foot contest attitude, average. Martial skills helping that out. Our horse contest attitude, terrible. Only plus one thanks to our martial skill. And our wit contest attitude, non-existent. Our learning skill is abysmal, but that's okay. Our next contest, melee. Qualification threshold, 20. Here's our progress to victory. We're at 11. We need nine more points. We're able to visit locales for opportunities to improve our chances or to sabotage our opponents. The current favored contestant is not very good. Interesting. All right. 
Well, let's come over here to the tourney grounds. Be a man. I greet a band of knights as they wander past me. One straggling behind the rest makes me pause, spinning on my heel I call after the figure. They are clad in shapeless, ill-fitting armor, their eyes wide and clearly terrified beneath their helmet. Something isn't right here. Stepping forward, I rip off the helmet before they have a chance to react. Standing before me, looking around furtively to see if anyone else had noticed, is none other than a woman, dressed as a knight no less, planning to compete as a knight even. But we could call the guards here. That would get her banished. It would increase our score slightly. I could keep her secret. She would like me more. Or I could hire her. It's only 15 gold. She would become my knight. Well, let's have a look. Whoa. She's not only a great military commander. She's quite powerful. I've got to hire her then. Yeah, 20 years old. She'll be around for a very long time. We need her. We've gained a new trait called Hostile Looter. Now, that has four pathways that you're able to level up. Remember how our Hunter trait had two? We've got Foot, Bow, Horse, and Wit. Of course, each one has a level, and each level gets progressively better. To actually max them all out, you would have to fight so many tournaments over the course of a very long life. But if you focus on a few, you could at least max out one, maybe two, or more. Again, you would have to just go to so many tournaments. Now, we've raised up our qualifications, which is quite nice. We've got three days until our tournament. We're able to visit one locale before the fight now. So I decided to visit the village. The locals at Glasgow seem equally interested in the tournament as a noble's attending it. Some have improvised temporary shops in the ground floor of their houses, and the bowls of stew smell delicious. Above all the revelry and the chatter, I hear some more violent noises coming from one of the alleys. Yeah, that sounds about right. As I approach it, I observe what seems to be a peasant brawl, but one of them is more skilled than the rest. I could hire him. That's true. Is he really good? 13. He's okay. I could just say, what are you looking at? But I would gain stress. We're quite gregarious, all right? Instead, I could study his moves. Yeah, let's do that. My score is going to go up moderately. Oh, I like that. The contest begins. A clear divide has been drawn between the two teams who stand across from each other, taunting as they prepare their equipment and whisper plans. Horses are readied in the background, the chargers whinnying and harumphing. It will be a brutal day's work. My ears prick up as my name is mentioned, drifting across the gentle breeze. That could be a good sign or a bad one. Okay, one of our knights has joined in. There's Eadric. Who else do we have over here? Oh, our leader, Duke Edwin. He's also here. We've got King Malcolm of Scotland. That's a lot of major names, really, that we've got to beat. So here's a mock battle on horse and on foot between the two teams. Can we do it? I hope we can. Glory will be ours. I vowed to myself I would win a contest in this tournament. And I can't help but consider a less fair approach to securing the prize of the melee competition. I'm sure my opponents would do the same if they only had the idea. Who knows? Maybe they already have. We could do that, sure. And it would help us out. But we're not going to do that. It is no way to win. We've got to be honorable for now. Sweet Refuge. Exhausted, I stagger into the austere comforts of a refuge. All around me are competitors from both sides, armor rent and twisted, swords blunted and chipped. Squires and servants scurry around helping their charges. I spy a few of my teammates restoring themselves. They greet me wearily as I slump down beside them, weary and aching. Watching from my shady position, I could see a market seller readying some hastily assembled food and drink to sell to the shattered fighters. Malcolm, <laughs> the king of Scotland over here, and my knight Ilkarthen watch the seller with a bit of hope. While Edwin over here, Foe cheerfully mumbles something about a speech. Okay, I could give him a speech. I could leave him to it. But I want to win. Let's spend a bit of money, alright? There. A glimpse through the struggling bodies, the rent helms, and the swirling dust. Is that a spirit? She has an ethereal beauty to her. No, no, it is no spirit. Etched upon her winsome face is a look of pure terror as she looks for a way out. No sooner have I opened my mouth... Then she trips and falls, her ankle twisting from stepping awkwardly on an errant spear. 
her mournful eyes welling with tears as she cowers away from the whirling blades. She's pretty, a level 2 beauty trade. We'll take her in because she's going to be able to marry a knight who I could bring to my court. I've got a few options. Okay. I don't want to do that. I don't want anyone to die. I could get my knight to help her out. No. But I could also say, hold tight, my dear, and save her. Of course, I would gain stress, but she'll join my court and like me more. We'll do that. The shadows loom long as the battle wears on, the fray shrinking as contestants limp away. Wheeling my horse, I think back to what has transpired so far, such as when my weapon was knocked from my grasp, causing me to scramble after it. Events are clearly coming to a head. As tired battle lines are drawn up once more, the opportunity to stamp my mark on his contest is now. Alright, I could write it out, sure. I could have a martial and intrigue challenge. Martial and diplomacy. But I shall win a soldier's victory. Martial and prowess. We're at 52% right now for our progress to victory. The final blows. As stratagems go, it was hardly my finest. Though I wouldn't describe our plight as utterly disastrous, the enemy team punching through our center and beginning to hair away towards our unprotected camp could yet sound the death knell for our chances. It is almost impossible to call which side is closest to prevailing. There is still all to play for. I could see the heralds begin to make their way onto the field to signal the conclusion of the event. The end draws near. One more push. Trumpets sound. The crowd clamors. Competitors begin to assemble. The contest is over, and one team's limelight is being readied. And here we go. Our team beat the Duke's team. So we gain what? Prestige, gold, melee victor for five years, more martial. I mean, just a bunch of good stuff. So now we've got to wait for our archery contest, though we need to qualify. We're at 14 for our qualification. We need to be at 20. We've got to qualify for our next tournament. So here's a new event at the tourney grounds, which feels like a really good choice as I try to train up my current aptitudes. Go pedal, go faster. I hear a man's voice echo across the grounds. I look up to see a small thing hurrying through the sky like a little black bolt of lightning. Okay, I could learn a bit of it. Gain experience for Falconer. I could ignore it, but I would gain a lot of stress. I could even gamble. I mean, that wouldn't go well for me. I could also say, hey, it takes a lot of preparation to do what you're doing. I would lose stress because I'm diligent, but also my score would go up. There, we've now qualified. Great. So now we just need to wait a little bit longer until we're able to visit another locale. Then finally enter our competition. Commander promoted. Oh, hello there. We're gaining a lot of knights. Good. My mother found out that Duke Edwin is a sodomite. You know what? We'll address that topic later. Right now, I've got a contest to focus on. I've qualified, giving us more prestige. So, let's show the world my skill. I've got 19% for my progress to victory. Oh, look at that. My aptitude went up to level 4. I flex the bowstring a few times, limbering up and take a deep breath. Alright, I did well. I made my shot. There's my ping. A light breeze ripples through the field as another competitor takes their shot. So, I've got an idea. I could shoot my bow with a blindfold on. Oh god, my chance of actually doing it is quite low. I slip and fall. Of course I did. It was bound to happen, but hey! You miss every shot you don't take, and you miss shots when you're blindfolded. Yep. I know we didn't win that one. I wish we did. It would have been awesome. Ah, uh, wait, hold on. I'm winning? Only a few more arrows are remaining for each competitor. One last time. Oh, come on, wait with me. You're kidding me, I won? Trumpet sound. The crowd clamors. Competitors begin to assemble. Ah, very good. Okay, third place. That guy, a vassal over in Scotland. We've got, let's see, another fellow who's Irish. My champion did not compete, but I did it. So I gain prestige, more gold, merry aim, so more archer damage and so on. Ooh, and I'll get a prize when the grand tournament is over. We did it. Okay, that's really exciting. All right. Time for a ceremony now. I'm engaged in it. Our final event over here. Look at my prize over here. A prize bow. 
plus 10 to prowess. My knights are more effective. We're able to pursue our enemies and so on. What a great weapon. The sun comes down on the final day of the tournament and the mass crowds begin to disperse. I find myself ruminating over the results. King Malcolm's team carried the day in the melee and I won the archery competition. That was really, really cool. I mean, we gained so much experience. We gained so much everything. Malcolm got what? 800 prestige? Lost a bunch of stress and so on. All right, I'm ready to go home, I think. I've got what I need. Look at that bow. Okay, getting an artifact whenever you actually earn it feels so much better. Look at my prowess over here, 21. Well, that was great. We're all done. We need to go back home now. And that's what we're doing. We could change up our pathway, but we're not gonna do that. We're gonna be okay. There's no danger to us. Though, there is a bit of fighting going on. Here's another travel event as we go back home. Weird Whispers. I've noticed that Edweld avoids me more than usual. We may not have the best of relationships, but that attitude is starting to tire me. Especially when I overhear him defaming me. Edgar is a cocky fiend. I'd be a way better Earl than him. Really now? Oh no. I'll show you. We got him. He's out of here. He's fired. So now I need a new marshal. That's going to be someone. Harry, it's you. You're not nearly as good, but that's okay. You'll become better. We're still on our way home, and we've paid no mind over to the war. It's not going well for England currently. At long last, I am finally home. All right, we have journeyed for 288 days and traversed 27 baronies. Wow. That gave me more experience in horse riding, too. I'm nearly at level 1 for my bow skill. That'll be very nice to have. We're currently moving at 2 speed. And there goes my regent. Yeah, she's gaining power. I wasn't gone for too long, so she wasn't able to become entrenched. I thought you were meant to marry that guy. What happened? Bring him over here. You know what you're meant to do. I mean, you're 52, but I need that knight over here. I was hoping that he would join in right away. There we go. Alright, he's here now. He doesn't like me, but that's fine. I don't mind. Now, do I know the language of our future king, Duke William? I don't. I'm going to try to learn his language. There. I've got many more knights on the way right now, too. i got all of our single women, and now they're going to marry people through a matrilineal marriage, so we get many mighty warriors. I won't run out of knights because of that. That should help me a lot for future wars. Though we're not going to fight one at the moment. We already won a major tournament, which feels really good. I mean, again, we've got our prize bow. We're only 17. We'll finally be able to have kids in a little under a decade. We've also been invited to our Earl's hunt. Okay. Greetings, Earl Edgar of Warwickshire. You're cordially invited to my hunt in the grasslands of Shropshire. Together, we shall make a mighty sport of it. Well, that seems like a pretty good idea. We'll gain hunter trait experience. And participating acclaimed knights may gain glory. We don't have any acclaimed knights just yet. I want to find people who have slightly better traits, and I'll show you why in just a bit. It'll only take me, what, a few days to get there? Ten days? Yeah, let's go. Do I need to hire anyone at all? Do I really? I mean, we should be relatively safe. I will hire someone for a forest guide, for one. There, we're very safe. We'll be able to travel through. And we've got many in our entourage. There's Struin. I'll have to hire them for a few other court positions later on, but not yet. Only five gold to leave. Yeah, there. We've got someone on our side. Okay, we're on our way now. I'll go up in speed just to arrive there a little bit faster. And look at that. It's very serendipitous. Our Duke made us his master of the hunt. Nice. Good timing. Making camp. As we await the arrival of the rest of the guests, Earl Edric, or Edric, rather, has started on the preparations. His gamekeepers check the grasslands each day for signs of quarry while building a camp closer to the hunting grounds. I've checked my gear and horse many times. It won't be long now. Not a high chance to actually complete our hunt. We'll have to try it out. I'm getting much better. I mean, that alone has made me much better. We've also got, let's see, our dear leader here. 21 prowess, 17 for Marshall. What a tough guy. I wish he worked for me. We're waiting on a few people to get here. There's one Reeve. My intent will be to potentially befriend someone. Well, if it can't be Edric, then I'll have to go hunting, I suppose. Yeah, we'll slay a good beast. Are they any good? Not really. They're actually really, really bad. That's okay, though. We'll wait. All right. 
The party is called to assemble as dawn breaks over the camp in the flatlands near Shropshire. The local gamekeepers have scoured the vicinity for recent tracks and fumes. While there is sadly no sign of a buck in the area, there are evidently plenty of foxes. Well, let's get out there. Oh, we're able to see what the peril is. Only mild. The prestige gain would be trivial. That's fine, too. And now we're waiting. Ah, attendance. Lushed prey. Our chance to complete it has gone up. And what now? Oh, Edwin. He tried to murder the Earl Edric. You're kidding me. I'm learning so many secrets. We've got to blackmail him later on. There's poachers here. We could tell them to get out. The Earl wouldn't like me nearly as much. I could claim the animal, potentially. I would gain gold, prestige. Our chance to complete our job here would go up by only a little bit, but I've got a higher chance for that to not work out. I could hang them, which is fine. We would gain more money, but the people would hate us for a long time. Or, our final choice here, we could decrease our chance to actually succeed, but I would gain poacher training for 10 years, plus suit of prowess, and more venator hunter experience gain. Let's do that. All right. The hunt goes on now. We'll move up just a little bit faster. We're not having a lot of great luck with actually completing our hunt. My party and I stalk through a copse. Eyes peeled for any sign of a fox. Ah, it's a nestling screeching for its mother. All right. I could take a hunting raptor. For five years, I would gain plus one to prestige. Vassal opinion would go up. That's really good. I could give it to Edric. That's true. I mean, he would like me. I could also put it back. Yeah, that's fine, but I'm not going to do that. Let's take it back. We've got to, I think. Oh, and in case you were wondering, a hunting raptor is a bird that hunts and kills other animals for food. It's not like a flying raptor. Okay. Peering across the landscape, I suddenly double take. There it is, flowing tail and all. So here's a fox. Let's go get it, or try to. Oh, look at that. One Reeve got a ferret. Well, good for him. Whoa, hold on. We've got a claim on all of Mercia. Well, good job, Bishop. I'll be in debt for a bit, but it's worthwhile, I think. We'll get a few dire ramifications. I could try to make more money, and I shall. So here's my hunter experience. Our plans were for naught. That's okay, though. I feel like I did okay. They did not. They were all really, really bad. There, more hunter experience for me. All right, let's leave. I did gain a bit more experience and prestige too. Good for us. We didn't get much else. Not overall. Time to go back home again and hopefully make a bit more money. Now we're back home, which feels great. And man, my beard is crazy. Also, what we need to do at the moment is actually blackmail. Oh, wait, hold on. My sister over here would like to support me. Yeah, they want me to take over. We joined the faction to install ourselves as a leader on the Mercian throne. I've got to do that, I think. And here we go. I've got to blackmail him. Attempted murder. Sure, he's a sodomite, but that's a strong hook. Which I now have. Oh, I wonder what I could take from him. And what about you? The Bishop of Mercia. Oh, those two were shagging. Okay, now I've got two hooks. Before we do anything at all, let's have a look at accolades over here. These are special honors. They improve over time, meaning that when the accolade is passed on to a new person, the progress you've made isn't lost. We're going to choose God Gifu. He's got 30 prowess. He's going to be called the Sword Maiden of the Lord. I'm able to change it if I want to. There are two attributes for every accolade. The secondary one is mutable. It can be changed. The primary one is core to the accolade. It can't be changed. Let's create it right now. It'll cost us 100 prestige. We gain glory, which is our form of experience over time. You can get that from winning battles. You can get it from whenever you kill some other knight or wound them and so on. So here we go. We've got 100 glory, rank one at the moment. We get more martial lifestyle experience for that knight. Now these knights here are no longer standard knights. They are now acclaimed knights which do provide benefits for your army, even if they're not commanding. So keep in mind that only unlanded and barren rank people can become knights. Let's have a look real quick. Rank two, it just keeps on going on and on to our final rank right over here, 2100 glory, where you get some incredible, incredible benefits. So we've got contender. 
Currently, it's at rank one. At rank two, we get, let's see, Hostile Looter, trade experience gain up by 10%. Over here for our Tactician Core trade, we've got rank one, Glory, more martial lifestyle experience, which we saw before. Now, we can't find someone to succeed her. That won't happen at the moment. And look who joined our faction, Earl Edric. I suppose whenever you try to have someone killed, that happens. They try to fight against you. War it is. Let's get our forces together. I could call William, but he's probably not going to come help me. He'll become king very soon. Then he won't be able to help me at all. We're about to win our war now. Only just over a week to go. Wait, Margaret was killed. She was only 24. I'm now the new head of our house. We gained 31 gold. Let's come over here and help out our allies. Oh, look at who did it. Wolfston, the Chancellor of Edwin. I'm going to get him. Now, we did gain Stafford. That means we're going to be able to make more money. They've got over here, what else? Level 2 farms, hamlets. They've got bastions and curtain walls being constructed. What else do we have? A temple holding. That's pretty good. Edgar's having a pretty rough time. Cecilia was murdered as well. Man... No one really doesn't like our family at all. A true tragedy. I'm going to blackmail Wolfston for killing my sister. That feels okay to do. We'll find maybe someone new to marry after we become a duke because more people will want to marry us because of that position change. So we're not going to do it yet. We're taking over another area. We could go after their main army. We'll probably do that in just a moment. There, we've got that area. That gave me a lot more gold. So now, we're going to go after their major army. They're trying to get away, but we won't let them. Here's our one pivotal battle. Right over here in Westbury. So we're countering their light footmen. Their pikemen are doing fine. Their bowmen too. We're winning so far. Our champions are much, much better. See, I've been using all of our female courtiers to invite over many, many knights. And that's why we're doing so well. We caught Wolfston. I could get rid of him. I could overthrow him. No, that would be a long plot. We're not going to do that. Having him killed would also be okay. I'll think about it. I don't want his lands to go over to our current duke. Not until we defeat his entire army. We're going to beat them again. God Gifu is a great leader. I'm probably butchering that name. In fact, I'm sure of it. So now Duke Edwin is back. He's only got three knights left. We got him. It's over. We could have him killed, but we're not going to do that. It took a year of fighting, but now look at our lands. We own all of Mercia. We're going to be able to do so many new things. Edric has a favor hook on me, and I'm no longer a master of the hunt. I'll become a new one. Oh, look at that. King William won too. He's our new leader, though we are no longer bound together. Hopefully we'll be able to, I don't know, curry some favor with him. I'm now a mighty duke, only 20 years old. Our vassal over here, Waltheof, he's actually a brother of King Malcolm. Maybe I don't want to tick him off. Now, let's have a look at Wolfston, who's now in my dungeon. I used my hook on him to change up his contract. That's why I'm now making so much more money. Thank you, Wolfston. Hopefully he'll die in that dungeon because I'm going to take over his lands. We've also been invited to a hunt by, let's see, Earl William II. Okay, we'll go do that. All we need right now is a forest guide. That should work out. I could also pick up a cultural ambassador. Sure, I've got some extra money. Let's go do that. We'll join in right away. It shouldn't take too long to get there. 22 learning, he's very good. All right, off we go. I can't wait. He's actually got some pretty decent learning. He's not a bad guy. Honest, forgiving, diligent. I like him. He's got no children as of right now. And 20 people are here. Duke Richard of Kent and King William. Oh, that's really good. So we've got a great opportunity to potentially make a new friend. Who should it be? King William, naturally. If he becomes our friend, that would help us out quite a bit. We've got Duke Edwin. Another neighboring vassal, King William, and Earl William. Then there's me, the hunter. The party's called to assemble. All right, so we're going to be hunting a roe, a deer. Peril, mild. Prestige, mediocre. That's fine. We've got a higher chance to actually track it down. Here's our team. We're all together. 
All right. Attendant flushed prey. A moment to talk. Waiting for word from the sin hounds, the party rests in a shaded copse. William stands not far off. And here's my chance to impress him. King William, how are you? It's not often we get a chance to talk, I open informally. He seems surprised but not hostile to my conversation. All right. That's a good start. I've got a few options over here. I could potentially appeal to his more diligent side. I could pity the poor animals. I don't want to do that. I'll say there is nothing better than a good hunt. He's a great warrior. That should hopefully work out. We'll see in time. What now? Keep it up. Find a secret. Ah, there we go. He's got much in common with me. Relaxing his demeanor in my company. When we move on, we can hardly be separated. All right. What a great way to get to know your leader. Count Odo, let's see, you like Duke Edwin more. I. Well, probably the other one. William is crouched down on the ground, humming cheerfully, picking violets. You, my acquaintance, peers over his shoulder, listening intently. Duke, what a bounty of nature. Look at these plants. Truly, the wealth of the earth knows no bounds. We do not appreciate these simple treasures enough. Okay, that's great, buddy. If I go back, I'll gain more prestige. Duke Hugh, Earl William won't like that nearly as much. I could gain some more learning lifestyle experience, which could be okay. I could also talk to Ed Wolf about these herbs over here. That's fine. But no, let's go. I'm a hunter. I'm here to hunt. Earl William's huntsmen have pointed out a secluded clearing downwind of the bees covert. A perfect place to form our bowline. But our host thinks for a moment before scoffing. I came for a real hunt. All right, let's go. It's time to find out. Oh, hold on. Odo doesn't like me nearly as much. Hunter experience went up, which is great. The exhausted, panicked animal has turned to bay, struggling to stand and barking in panic. Good shot. All right. That's for William, but not me. That's okay, though. Look at that. He's now a hunter. He's gained a lot of prestige. I would like some more prestige, too. Here's an artifact. A row antler. And his trait. I gained a little bit of experience, which is really all that I needed. There's still no one for me to marry just yet. I'll need to wait. There is a princess of England, but she's very young. We need to have an heir eventually. And I'm back home. See, that was a very close one. And because I hired that cultural ambassador, have a look. The cultural acceptance between every culture you visited and the Anglo-Saxon increased by 1%. Hey, cool. I'll take it. I just wanted to show you what that was like. What else do we have over here? I've got money. I could do a grand tour eventually. I do want to save up more to do a proper grand tour. King William is Norman no more. He's now English. And you know what? Maybe we should be too. Sure, I do head up our culture, but it's not a major culture. And my people that I rule over are English. So we're going to do that. Let's have a look at our culture right over here. We don't have a lot. We have three traditions, and they're okay, I suppose. So instead, it's time for me to convert. Perfect. That'll work out. Our people are going to like us so much more, I should be able to marry a few more people without much difficulty, and we'll see what else we're able to do. A new fashion at court. Not for me. Not right now. King William is having a tournament over in London. We've got to join in. Sure, we'll do that. It's really not too dangerous to get over there, so we're just going to hire one cultural ambassador. You're able to see many other options down here that we can't get quite yet. Like to train knights, I would need military schools. For superior mounts, I would need a courier station or camel markets. Yeah, there's my ambassador. We'll make it there in just over a month. Let's go. Now, we've got to do something relatively cruel. Wolfston has a claim on William's land. Well, Earl William, not King William. We'll have to go take it over before Wolfston dies. He's in pretty good shape. He should be okay for a few more years. We've made it in, and I wanted to ensure that Duke Edgar was properly peacocking like a duke should. Can't wait for it to start. We'll move at three speed. We don't have to wait too much, I think. No time to lose. We'll go over to the tent camp to visit a few people. A great abandoned knights here as they wander past me. Oh, again, we know about that event. You know what? Be gone. I already have my knight. Now I'm guaranteed to qualify, which is great. 
I'm at 25. Adelaide, the sister of the king, has taken an interest in me. She's 42. I could take it. And she would try to romance me. You know what? Sure. Let's do that. Why not? I'll allow her to do that. Only because, hey, we could use a bit of love right now. We've yet to find a wife. I have qualified. Glory will be ours. I'm not going to go after anyone. Not this character. He wouldn't do that, I don't believe. We've got burning buildings here. The melee has spilled over into London proper. And even now, I can see contestants from both sides ripping off pieces of building. Oh no! That's really, really bad. I'll try to help things out. Alright, it did cease for now. And here's a mysterious knight. Those emblems look familiar to me, but it's hard to make them out. I trot closer and dismount, calling out the figure. Ah, uh, but they're looking for new foes. You know what? Let's find out. Oh! Look who it is! My champion! Okay. It's a woman. Please don't tell anyone. You could watch my back. I mean, you are here. I like that. Ooh. Plus five to prowess. I'll take it right now. Here's my last hurrah. I will win a soldier's victory. Alright, that was a major increase. Here's our final event before our results. One more push. The ploy was a stunning blow. I'll try it out now. Ah, oh, I couldn't do it. King William beat me, though he was hurt. Poor guy. Let's go over to the tavern over here because we're pretty stressed out. Sure. Alright. Let's see, I could join them for a cup of spiced wine. Let's do it then. Ah, there we go. My score goes up. My stress goes down. I'm feeling pretty good about that. My champion and two of my knights have also entered. Okay. That gave me 145 more prestige. Alright. I could place a bet. I like the idea of doing that. It really depends on who's got a lot of learning. Bacon, my physician, does. You know what? We'll do that instead. Bacon, where are you? Is that bacon? Yeah, that's bacon. Edwolf. I'll gain 19 gold. A very, very safe bed. Stage Sprite. Trumpets blare. The masses whoop and holler. I ascend the recital dais, waving. A hush falls as I take heroic stance, as my chest puffs, as my arms spread wide. I open my mouth. It's dry. It's very, very dry. I try to speak, but words won't come. Oh, no. All right. Look, a three-headed monkey. I'll try. Hey, it actually worked out. All right. The crowd hollers and cheers as I complete my latest recital. Oh. So, it's meant to target Ivko's honor and show all how much greater my wit truly is. Rue. You know what? I should take a bow and make my leave. No, no, we're gonna gamble. One more verse couldn't hurt. Aha! Look at that. I'm learning wit. Being part of the crowd at a sporting event can be a real treat. The atmosphere, the sound, and the sights. Only problem is, it can sometimes bring as many downsides as it does boons. Oh. We've got my knight here. He's very, very large, and he's in my way. He might become... Wait, no, I don't want to potentially brutally maul him. No, we're not going to do that. You know what? Never mind. I can't do that to one of my own knights. I mean, that would be cruel. Though, I nearly want to. I'm winning. Wait, really? Okay, one more verse. Look at that. After many trials, some tribulations... And above all else, huh, some truly spirited competition, we have our final three. In third place, Ivko. Second, Elik, my knight. Then, me. So I won. Ahaha. Uh -huh. I did lose my wager, which is really funny. I still gained money. I didn't think I could win, but I did. So we've got a buff for five years. All right, more diplomacy. It'll be easier to learn a language, and so on. Do I get a prize? I want a big old prize, you know. Let's wait for the ceremony. What a great occasion. So I've got a prize necklace. Oh, look at that. 0.20 prestige, renown. 
my knights are more effective, and I'm able to seduce people if I want to. That was really, really good. We need to go home now. Yeah, let's go back home. That was a great, great trip. I've got to find someone for you to marry. Oh, she's got some claims. Interesting. Here's a genius, but she's 45. That wouldn't work out. Here's where we're going to wrap up Life as a Medieval Knight for right now. If you would like to see a continuation of his story, do let me know down below. As you're able to see, due to our new content expansion, there's so much more to do. You're actually able to live a life, you're able to interact, and it feels substantial. Things are so much more engaging and fun. So I'm very excited to really just dive into all the other features. I can't wait to show you Regencies. They are so complex and so darn cool. Now, make sure that you do leave a like and comment right down below. And be sure to use my link as well. It lets Paradox know that, hey, you like me. You know how much I play this game. I really do love the game, and it's so much better.